This oh. is a complete and utter disappointment. Yes, it is. The paper's cheap, the type's too small. What did you do? Bribe one of the guards. But you implored me to write, for curative purposes, to stave off my madness. But you've no right to publish behind my back without my sanction? Have you truly read it? Or did you run straight away to the dog-eared pages? Oh, enough to discern its tenor. And? It's not even a proper novel. It's nothing but an encyclopedia of perversions. Frankly, it even fails as an exercise in craft. Characters are wooden, the dialogue is inane, not to mention the endless repetition of words like nipple in pike staff. There I was taxed, it's true. And such puny scope. Nothing but the very worst in man's nature. I write of the great eternal truths that bind together all mankind, the whole world over. We eat, we shit, we fuck, we kill, and we die. But we also fall in love. We build cities, we compose symphonies, and we endure. Why not put that in your books as well? It's a fiction, not a moral treatise. But isn't that the duty of art? To elevate us above the beast. I'd have thought that was your duty, Abbe. Not mine. One more trick like this. And I'll be forced to revoke all your liberties. It's that doctor fellow, isn't it? He's come to usurp your place here, hasn't he? Marquis, more than your right is at stake. The Ministry has threatened us with closure. Oh, they can't be serious. Our future lies in the stroke of your pen. Mightier than the sword, indeed. Put yourself in my place. I've your fellow patients to consider. If Charenton falls, they've, they've no place to go, no manner in which to clothe or feed themselves. Fuck them! They're half-wits and pinheads. Let them die on the streets as nature intended. You among them. If ever I showed you a kind hand, Marquis, if ever I granted you walking privileges on a spring day or slipped an extra pillow beneath your door, if ever I shared your wine, laughed at your vulgarities, or humored you with argument, then you will oblige me now, for your sake, and for all, Charenton. You have a touch of the poet, too. Perhaps you should take up the quill. Do I have your word? Honestly. You cut me to the core. What's the point of all your valiant attempts at rehabilitation if when I finally succumb, when at long last I pledge myself to righteous conduct, you regard me with nothing but suspicion? Have you no faith in your own medicine? 